Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Madden 18 Ultimate Team, and it is time to take a look at the Team of the Week. So we have new Team of the Week. That means that comes with two new solos. Get yourself a little bit of coinage and uh, Team of the Week collectible item. And then Team of the Week three players, I uh, believe, believe you get a Team of the Week player from each week, if I'm reading that correctly. Uh, and so that could be interesting. I know Toke, I saw on Twitter, he pulled, like, a lot of these packs and didn't pull a single player <laughs> from this week. So, uh, if you open packs, good, good luck. So, let's take a look at the cards. We'll see if there are any ones that I have any interest in picking up. So, week three. So, we have the team of the year. Um, you need to do those you need to get the team of the week collectibles to do this. I haven't been doing them because you just get one team of the year collectible at the end. And I, I have no idea. I don't have the time, first of all, to play every soul that comes out. So I just pick and choose and that didn't make the cut. So Harrison Smith and T.Y. Hilton collect the team of the week honors. Brandon Cooks probably, probably should have gotten it over T.Y. Hilton, but he just got a new card. I would have probably given it to Stefan Diggs over Hilton, but that's just my opinion. And then on defense, Harrison Smith got the card. You could have argued a couple players over him as well, but it's all right. They last week, last week was just atrocious. Before before I start on this, before I start on that, last week was just atrocious. Last week's team of the week was atrocious. It was awful. It was a joke. Uh, and how AJ Green did not get a card at all blows my mind i mean i mean come on age era i'm looking at the defense but how aj green didn't get a card is mind-boggling um even even though sammy watkins stefan diggs and ty hilton all had good games the same with aj green aj green still should have wound up with a card like get rid of travis kelsey or jason kelsey and jared goff get one rid of one of them and then give uh aj green like an 88 it would have been fine it would have worked out fine uh, but let's get into this. We'll start at the bottom. Brian Witzman. So, Brian Witzman going for 4800 We won't spend too much time on this. I'll quickly show the back of his card, and then we'll move on. So, all these cards down at the bottom aren't going to be good. Uh, they're going to hold value just because they go into these sets. But other than that, they're kind of useless. So, Cam Robinson going for 3500 So, there are his stats. 88 strength, not bad. And 84 stamina aren't awful, but obviously not a great card. We have TJ Johnson as the next card up. He's currently going for 3,500 as well. Can make a whole team of the week offensive line. 84 strength. I wish they would give them the uh, team of the week chemistry. Um, and so you could build a team out of the team of the week and get a boost and all that stuff. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, CJ Ham, they couldn't even give him a new picture. So we, we got mugshot CJ Ham here. And uh, that's not awful. I mean, could be worse, but not bad, not bad, not bad. Next, Geronimo Allison. So Geronimo Allison going for 5,800. 83 speed, other than, that's not even that good, but uh, that's the only stat of note on his card. It's a pretty trash card other than that. Mike Remmers with the next card up. Mike Remmers going for 11K. All right, Mike Remmers. 80 strength. He's just going for a bunch because he's one of the higher priced, or the higher overall uh, gold versions of the team of the week. Uh, Mercedes Lewis going for 19K. So Mercedes Lewis, the gold card you want to pull. Obviously just going for coins because he's one of the higher overall um, gold ones. Next up is Jared Goff, who should be going for dirt cheap. Yep, Jared Goff going for 5,300. Mediocre stats on Jared Goff. Nothing to write home about, but, but not complete and utter trash can. Uh, Jason Kelsey, the next car, going for 10K. That's not bad for an 83 overall lineman. 86 impact blocking. Pretty trash run and pass block, but he passes. He passes. Now we'll get into the cards. I still don't think many people have interest in this Kareem Hunt, who is going for 36,000 currently. And he, okay, 87 speed and 90 excel. Not bad. Everything else is 
is okay enough, but nothing nothing crazy. But still, I'll, I'll take it. Not bad card. Next is Sammy Watkins, who has my chemistry. Maybe fight Tyreek Hill for a spot on the... Even though Ty Tyreek Hill returns kicks for me, though. That's kind of... That kind of takes the cake. I guess we'll compare them because that's the two. I could put Brandon Cooks back there to return. So Tyreek Hill is the only one really in danger of getting cut from the squad, and it would take a really good card. But this is a pretty good card. 88 speed, 82 catch, 84 elusiveness, 85 spectacular catch, 85 release, 83 route running, 81 catch in traffic, and 84 jumping. It could be a debate. I could debate whether or not I'd rather have Sammy Watkins or uh, Tyreek Hill. But for now, it's going to be Tyreek Hill, but that is a nice Sammy Watkins card. Moving on to Stefan Diggs. Diggs going for 340 k We'll throw him up against Brandon Cooks. 88 speed, 85 catch, 86 elusiveness, 87 spectacular catch, 85 release, 87 route running, 85 catch in traffic, and 82 jumping. So not a bad card at all. Not worth the price. Probably not a worth a pickup on anybody's team because of how the team of the weeks function, but still a really good card. We'll go take a look at the defense before we take a look at T.Y. Hilton and Harrison Smith. So starting off, Shamar Steven. He is going for 3,700 coins. There are his stats. Obviously, once again, nothing to write home about with these low-tier golds. Next is Carl Lawson, who had like four sacks of Aaron Rodgers. I think it was more, I think it was two and a half, but still an impressive game for Carl Lawson. Uh, he's going to be a really good uh, pro. He just hasn't had any shots weeks one and two because the Bengals have been, uh, they haven't had to rush the quarterback or anything like that. So Josh Jones, next card, 6K. Interesting. Why is he 60? Oh, 89 speed. Okay. 89 speed for Josh Jones and 91 acceleration. Everything else is some hot, complete garbage, but that speed and acceleration are decent. Uh, Terrence Brooks. Next card up going for 5,500. A Jets player got a card. 88 speed, 88 excel, 71 man, 72 zone. All right. Not a bad, not a bad card from Terrence Brooks. Next up is is Blake Martinez. Blake Martinez going for a cool 6,000 coins. A lot of Packers getting cards this week. Uh, 79 speed, 74 awareness, 80 tackle. Okay, not bad. Pretty awful zone, but other than that, not, not an awful card. Decent user, budget user. Terrence Mitchell is our next guy up. He'll should probably be going around 9 or 10K. 9, 9, 9, so 10K. Uh, cornerback. There are his stats, 86 speed, 90 agility, pretty much everything else is trash. 88 excels, not bad, but everything else is pretty trash, but an int intriguing card. Next is Rashawn Melvin. Sean Melvin going for 14k. 87 speed, 87 excel, 86 agility. Coverage stats are pretty trash, but he has good, like, peripheral stats, not bad. All right, moving on to the elites, we've got John Simon. I thought all the winners had to get a card. I thought all the winners got a card. Where's my Patriots card? Oh, I clicked on defense again. Was it? Am I just? I thought. Uh, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe all the cards had. I don't know. I don't know. Let me just shut up. I thought. I thought like week one and two, all the winners got a card, but maybe that's just, maybe that's, I feel like I read that on Twitter somewhere. Maybe someone was just being stupid. Uh, 4,500 for a left outside linebacker, so that's interesting. Uh, he's got to be trash. He's got to be like absolute just garbage. Yeah, pretty trash. He can rust the passer, but it's intriguing. It's, it's equal to Nigel Bradham in the fact that he can rush the passer, but his coverage stats, I have to assume, yeah, they're awful. So they doesn't really compare to Nigel Bradham in my book, but that's just me. But that card isn't half bad for um, the price, for the 6K price tag. So Preston Brown is our next card. He's going for 10K, also not a bad price. A little slow. Pretty balanced card, though. Not, not a bad card at all. Uh, once again, these these defensive cards are actually looking pretty nice. We've had some viable options. Demarcus Lawrence getting a card. 
19k for Demarcus Lawrence. Okay, we're getting a little pricier here. How's he stack up against Wake? Actually, he does he does not an awful job of stacking up against Cameron Wake. It's not like an even comparison, but it's not far off. That's not a bad that Demarcus Lawrence for 20k not bad at all. Brian Arakpo is our next card. And Arakpo going for 50k. Compete with Telvin Smith. Uh, better tackler, we already knew that. Somehow Telvin Smith has a better block shed, but Brian Arakpo, obviously the better pass rusher. Um, what sets Telvin Smith apart is his coverage stats, and he's just been an absolute monster on my team. He's been the best card. Uh, Brian Arakpo's stats aren't far behind Telvin Smith's, though. Uh, Brian Arakpo may be the better card. Uh, I love Arakpo, too, as a player, so I actually have some interest in that card, but... Once again, chemistry kind of comes into play. And then we have Jalen Ramsey, who's 85 overall or 86 overall card. Played pretty well. So you can only imagine this 89 has got to be beastly. 90 speed, 90 excel. That's good. Uh, then the rest of the stats are a little lackluster. Would have liked to see man and zone a bit higher, uh, as well as pr press is fine. Press at 86 is fine. Would have liked to see it maybe a little higher, but it's fine where it is. It's a decent card. It is not worth 340k to put it on your team card. It's 340k to put it in the Harrison Smith set, maybe, but we'll go take a look at T.Y. Hilton and Harrison Smith, and then we can call this bad boy an episode. It would load. There we go. Free safety. And the auction house is running on slow mode uh these 92 i'm gonna i'm gonna assume they're 92s i might be wrong not cap program team of the week nope he's a 90 oh, okay okay he's a 91 overall he's going for 500k let's go ahead and pair him up against devin mccourty mccourty obviously going to be the better coverage safety uh, zone is actually even, McCourty's 84 man, but other than that, Harrison Smith knocking McCourty out. Uh, McCourty ties him on a lot of stats and is just a little bit behind him in the other ones like pursuit and tackling and acceleration. But Harrison Smith, as expected, is the better card, but it's not too far off. Um, and for 500k, uh, that card's nothing too special in my opinion. Nothing special about that Harrison Smith. And then we got T.Y. Hilton. 615k did he hit 90 nope 91 speed if he would have been 92 speed it would have made it a lot more interesting but 91 speed his stats are really nice with 88 catch 92 elusiveness 91 spec catch 88 release 92 route running 87 catch in traffic and 85 jumping those are all very very impressive but for 600k i don't know if it's worth it compared to the uh the rest of uh, the other 91 speed cards. Um, obviously, like, all those stats compared to Tyreek Hill are really good, but Tyreek Hill comes in at one-sixth of the price. So is it worth it for all those catching stats? Because for those catching stats, you could probably go and get an Antonio Brown or Julio Jones who can go up and get it better for you than uh, T.Y. Hilton can at 5'9". It's just kind of a, it's kind of a give or take with that T.Y. Hilton card. But guys, that's going to do it. Those are the new Team of the Week cards. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop the video like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll have some more videos coming out tonight. So keep your eye out for those. Peace out.